ये जो एक साल हुआ ना उसमें मैं प्रपरेशन कर रही थी यू नो और गाने गा रही थी उर्दू में एक्सप्रेशन सही कर रही थी अपनी तलफ़ सही कर रही थी मेरे जो वेट्स थे वो सही कर रही थी उस्ताद के साथ भी मैं पढ़ रही हूँ तो वो आते हैं मतलब कि हर एक चीज़ को यू नो लाइक यू नो ही टेक्स आर एवरी लिटल प्रॉब्लम दैट देर इज़ इन द एंड ईस्टर्न में ऑल्सो आई एम बेसिकली अ जैज अ वेस्टर्न जैज सिंगर एंड जब आप वेस्टर्न से आप ईस्टर्न में आ जाते हैं तो नो मैटर वॉट योर स्किल लेवल ट्रांसफरिंग इन टू ईस्टर्न टेक्स टाइम क्योंकि ईस्टर्न के जो फ्लोज हैं जो नोट्स हिट होते हैं वेरी डिफरेंट फ्राम वेस्टर्न इवन दो आई थाट के चलो यू नो आई एम गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट इन माई वेस्टर्न सिंगिंग सिंग इन उर्दू लेकिन क्या होता था कि वो फीलिंग जो थी ना वो नहीं आ रही थी सो देर इज एक्चुअली आई लर्न ओवर टाइम दैट देर इज एक्चुअली समथिंग टू बी सेड for an eastern style of singing or you know coming closer to the eastern style especially when singing in urdu and you wanted to be this laid back kind of singing because when i was practicing it i was doing it with a lot more it full voice this uh, this wala feel jo see cuz the the tick 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 that's giving it a much more uh, the illusion of something but then the the keys are kind of calming it down yeah. so which do you want me to follow I'll the feeling of the the, the drums or the, the, the shuffle is from the high Yeah, that's making me feel like it needs to be more upbeat. Yeah, I need to be more upbeat. Almost on the. Mm. 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 It's got that slight because mm. we're keeping it in that jazzy sort mm. of feel. But I think the open mm. should be calm, and then that should be the build up. Mm. Mm. Then there's a stark contrast mm. between those two. Okay. Um, try it a little. Let's just run through. The reason I chose that song was because it was one of the tipping points for me as far as like my musical career was concerned. Um, because when I first came back to Pakistan, or when I came back, I didn't know what to do. 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 and um i think it was around then that i had written this song and it's it's a song about uh, basically a girl who doesn't know what she wants to do i guess it just made sense to kind of do that song as like you know the my coax you song it's one of you know my more पर्सनल सॉन्ग्स ऑफ माइन फ्रॉम द एल्बम तो मैंने सोचा कि सो हम किसी तरह से हम उर्दू में कर लेते हैं and uh, that's when i got to translating it which in itself was quite a challenge because urdu in itself is just a very different language so uski apni tarika अपनी तरीके कार होते हैं जिसमें एक चीज़ बयान हो जाती है यू यू हैव टू सेट इन अ डिफरेंट वे एंड सेट विद रोहेल ऑन दैट वन एंड वंस इट वाज इन उर्दू देन वी पुट इट डाउन टू द म्यूजिक एंड देन इट जस्ट साउंड इट प्री साउंड प्री गुड ऐसे में जाने क्यों हूँ जागती कौन हूँ मैं कौन हूँ कहानी क्या मेरी još više tih akcenata i tamo da ih nema. Pa pa da vi na ruda pa pa i pa moraš ti ona bila na poli. Baš klasično. Hoće mi se mislim mi sigurno neko polazi mu za mesto, može. I did a song called Rat Guy. The composer left a lot of freedom for me to see what to do with the song in terms of arranging, which was so nice that uh, yeah, exactly the freedom it was it was a song in a style that I really mostly like. So uh, it was a challenge at the same time, but it came out as one of the best I think. Honestly, we, we didn't expect th th this kind of genre from from, from our arranger. You know? yeah. <laughs> And we were like, oh my goodness! You know, those, those brass sections were, were great. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. 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 Good guard. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how the Coke Studio version is being treated but I do know that Rohit plans to put upright bass in it and make it you know to to give it a different kind of treatment so 
I'm comfortable with it. whatever way it goes. I mean, at the end of the day, like the fun thing is to do the song differently. If we were to take the song and do it exactly the same way as I, I'm doing in the studio, I think maza nahi aata. The whole maza is in, in the fact is that you're taking something and you're seeing how it can be done in a very, very different way. Rad guy. I really love that. That's mo that's probably the most Western song of all because of the singing melody. I think all the other songs have, you know, classical Eastern singing, and this one is more of a Western thing. And the arrangement that Vladimir did is also <laughs> out of this world. <laughs> This was quarter to three, an English song that Zoe had written that I really, really like. It's really upbeat and really jazzy and everything. And she translated it, got it translated uh, in order to make it more uh, relatable to the masses and well, that's our local language. And um, we'd actually worked out these harmonies a long time ago when she was recording this for her album. So I already had an idea. So when the new music came in, that was really exciting because it gave it a new flavor. I love the Serbians, it's really cool. And uh, I love how into the music they are and that, that medium of communication, it doesn't matter what the language is, who the people are, it's all about the music and it's, it's about that connection. And I really like that. Sometimes things, I feel like you're maybe a channel for something that it just exists out there and then comes through you and comes out. I feel like Rad Gai was that sort of song. It definitely, I don't know where it came from. That melody doesn't, it, it just makes no sense. It, it doesn't even sound like the previous melodies that I used to write. So that's why it's actually a very special song to me because it came overnight and I don't know.